Hello my darling! Welcome to my channel! I'm your favorite character Sita today again with a new pick up and reading. And my darling, today's topic is all about how much waiting is there for you to meet your person, to meet your future spouse, your husband, your wife, or the partner that you're going to marry. So how much time there is for you? Okay, so how much waiting is there for you? Are you ready for them or not? Or, or possibly when you're going to meet your person or the, or the time zone, the years, months, days, or the timeline, something, whatever is meant for you. And also we're going to know that what marriage you will have, the arranged marriage or love marriage what's really coming up for you so my darling if you're new to my channel have no idea what's going on here let me tell you i am an intuitive tarot reader i use my intuition and magical power to channel messages from angels and universe to guide you guys this is purely intuitive best reading so trust your intuition trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself as groups today i'm using your birthdays okay look at that let's go find out your birthdays okay so let's shuffle it okay let's shuffle and do a um, few groups okay to find out that which what type of marriage you will have love or arranged and are you guys ready to meet each other like how much waiting is there how much time you have really got so yeah let's go find out so this is my group number one this is my group number two okay this is my group number three and this is my group number four so i got the four groups so group number one you got the number 12 so you can choose your birthday you can choose the number you can choose the group whichever you're drawn to so i got the um number 12 for my group number one number 12 uh five 26 i also got the number nine Got the number 14, number 20, and 22. Okay? So I got the number 22, 12, 26, 14, 29, and 5. These numbers, okay? This could be your birthday, your favorite number. You can choose this number, okay? Uh, my group number 2, you got the number 11. You got the number 10. Got the number 24. Number 6 number 15 you got the number 21 7 13 also got the number 4 and number 23 you got the 11 10 24 6 15 21 7 13 4 and 23 for my group number 3 i got the number 30 got the number 3 25 Okay, 27, 29, number 1, and number 28. And for my group number 4, I got the number 19, number 31, 16. Okay, I uh, got the number 8. Okay, number 17, 18, number 2 surprise okay so yes my group number three you got the 30 29 3 1 25 28 27 group number four i got the 19 31 16 2, 2 surprise 18 17 and 8 i'm going to give you the beautiful close-up look where you can pause the video and choose your perfect the date of birth or you can choose the number whichever you love so group one group two group three and group number four let me give you the beautiful close-up look I hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself. I'll get the timestamps in the description box. Go there, click on the timestamps, and the video will give you the exact timing when your panel is going to be started. So let's go jump into your magical reading. My darling, my amazing group number one. Welcome, welcome to your magical reading. So you choose the number 22, 12, 26, 14, 29, and 5. Okay? 29 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven numbers, okay? So if you have born in this date, okay, like 22nd of any month, 12th of any month, or 14th of any month, 9th of any month, 26th of any month, 
20th of any month or 5th of any month this is your reading or maybe you just choose the group because you are just drawn to this pile number one welcome to this reading let's go find out this topic is all about how much time you have got to meet your person this is, this is a reading for my singles and also we're going to find out that whatever marriage you will have the arranged or love marriage so i will start with the okay with this with this to find out that uh, what type of marriage you will have love or arranged what type of marriage you will have love or arranged okay so i got the card family room so this is kind of giving me arranged marriage or your family will be the reason that you are meeting your partner my group number one okay uh, maybe there will be the situation like through people like through family members through your brother sister parents cousins you are meeting your future spouse a very clear short answer the family room family is going to be the most important people okay through them you are meeting your future spouse okay again uh another another card another confirmation that if this is arranged or love so here i'm also picking up like arranged marriage or like arranged love marriage like you're like somebody's arranging this meeting for you let's take one more card what type of marriage you will have my group number one what type of marriage you will have love or arranged what type of marriage you will have what type of marriage you will have what type of marriage you will have uh, yeah mature man now here i can see like your your father your father figure okay i got the number five five here is the month of may or number five is very much important for you okay so here uh definitely i can see my group number one there there, there, there will be a mature man okay who is really helping you to find your partner okay a mature man an older person okay it could be your father your mother somebody masculine could be your father-in-law or mother-in-law or grandmother grandfather maybe grandmother-in-law grandfather-in-law somebody who is mature and uh, who is more experienced older with uh, through the through that person you are meeting your future spouse so this kind of shows me um, a strong chance of arranged marriage a strong chance of meeting your future spouse through uh, the people you call your family members okay and um, a very big chance that this is an arranged marriage but there also love there is also love like you are just so much lucky so much blessed like you're having people who truly think good for you who, who are really trying their best to give you the best partner ever okay you're so much blessed so i will get more confirmation or more clarification like what type of marriage you will have okay so yeah okay the cross the child in the clock tower so it will come in the perfect divine timing it is about the timing when you're going to meet your person you also got the cross so god universe angels and a very orthodox family you are very you're really coming from a very orthodox family you're going to marry in a very traditional orthodox type of family Okay, your child, you are the child, you are the baby, you are someone who really needs lots of care, lots of love, and lo lots of nourishment, and that's the reason, that's why you're, you're, oh my god, look at that, bottom of the deck, the child, you are the child, you're the baby, you're the divine child, so your parents or the people uh, in your family that really think that they need to look out for the perfect match for you, because people can get, people can take advantage of you, so they should protect you, so your your family members are extremely protective of you in a very good way. They're just protecting you so that you cannot getting any kind of harm or getting hurt by other people. So uh, that's the vibe I'm picking up. So let me take one more card from here as well. Our arranged marriage. Here the cards are kind of yelling at me. It's arranged. It's like your family members and everyone is really helping you to find the right man for you. Right um, women for you okay a uh, wish bona wish is granted so definitely if you want this type of marriage this is going to be your like so wish fulfillment your wish is granted and also the word card talks about sorrow over a loss maybe you really got cheated on in a love relationship or maybe your family members really uh, have seen you that somebody played with your feelings so that's why they are so much protective of you and they love you okay they want to protect you they don't want you to get hurt again by anybody okay so they are going to choose the right person for you this is their uh, responsibility this is exactly how your your family or people will feel that i um like god 
give me this responsibility to have pile number one and we will find the right person for my pile number one this is how your family this is how your uh, people that you call yourself family okay this is how they see and through them you're going to meet so your wish is granted so definitely my group number one maybe you will try to find the perfect person by yourself and you will get failed okay so this is exactly your story like you will try to get it by yourself but you will be getting failure after failure because um the people that you truly attract they are not good for you and you attract only a uh, playboy playgirl or the people who are not serious or sincere um for you okay this is what i am picking up so let's clear things up and let's go find out more let's go find out the time okay like how much time you've got to meet your person this is for my single darling let's go find out how much time you have got to meet your person my group number one how much time you have got to meet your future spouse let's see how much waiting is there for my pal number one how much waiting is here um to meet your person let's see let's see well you got the king of fire inspirational charismatic innovative you got the ace of fire opportunity creativity and action you also got the five of earth lack worry and assistance now here i can see a new beginning is coming a new beginning new love new relationship new connection is coming for you if you're waiting for your ex i'm sorry to disappoint you that your ex is very much toxic and this person is not coming back whether they decide to come back or not you should always keep your door locked you should not give the, this person any chance this person will always, always hurt you and always make you feel that you are nothing to them. This person will always step over you. And also, um, picking up that you guys, you and your person, you and your future spouse, you're about to meet somebody very soon, very fast. Because King of Fire, Ace of Fire talks about within a few weeks or within a few months. It's so much close. You guys are so close to start a new beginning. You guys are so close to start a new beginning. You guys, you and your person, you guys are so close to get something new. Maybe in the fire season, you're going to meet your person. Like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius seasons are very much powerful for you, okay? And so Aries seasons like April, Leo is the August season. And the, I think, um, November is the, like November, December is the uh, Sagittarius season. So this is the specific months that you can't meet your person but you guys are so close and you are on the right track my group number one something you need to know that you are on the right track you are exactly on the right path of meeting your person so you don't have to worry about it because if somebody um rejecting you and if someone is breaking your heart or already broke your heart there there has to be a reason that you deserve much better much more better than whatever you had in your life so how much time is there for you because the fire energy is here so it's it talks about very much soon like fast speedy energy but let's see uh, how much time you have got so i'm picking up a very fast speedy connection my group number one it's it's a uh, it's coming into your life very soon very fast yeah release death card ending transformation and freedom is here happening with you Five of water, disappointment, regret, forgiveness. It kind of goes with this. Five of earth and five of water. And the transformation, realization, life change, and liberation, the tower card. So here, one thing you need to know, universe is telling you that you have been through lots of disappointment. Like, you know, somebody broke your heart or somebody really gave you their promise. But yes, they didn't keep it. Okay? So here, what, what angels are telling you that if you have felt this kind of disappointment regret and feeling like oh my god i'm not going to find anybody in my life then remember you are only looking at this spilled cup of milk okay these these were not good for you angels are telling you to look up you already got this beautiful milk a new a new packet a new tetra pack of milk and this beautiful tool of cups this beautiful two chalices you already got it in your life but you're not looking at it you're, you are just so much you know drowned in the um um guiltiness into into the disappointment into the um 
I don't know, you are just regretting so much. So do not look back. It's time for you to look for the future. This is your guidance, my group number one. Do not look back. If something didn't happen to you, maybe there was a reason that's really the happy reason that you did this that didn't work for you. But here, angels want you to know that there is a big change, life change is coming. Transformation, this tower card talks about everything is about to change. A surprise, a big surprise is coming, okay? Like you are letting go of your old self, you are renewing, you are getting a rebirth, you, you have changed because there is a phoenix, there is the ending of your old self and the new beginning, new skin, like shedding the old and just getting the new soft skin, new start, this, this is here, okay? The transformation and freedom is here, the realization, you realize that you deserve far more better. And the time is here, it's all about when you realize you deserve far more better person than whoever that was in the past, this is the perfect timing for you to meet them. And also your life is changing, your routine is changing, your daily schedule is changing, you are just freeing yourself from old cycles and you are getting ready. I'm picking up you're about to meet your future spouse suddenly and expectedly out of the blue. It's like... Out of the blue, God is giving you that wish fulfillment, dream fulfillment that you've always wanted. And suddenly, this is just here in your life. And it's just too good to be true that you're just having all the things at once. And it's just like um, the miracle, the magic is happening. So, so don't hold any grudges, okay? And let go of your past don't hold on to your past this is your guidance and you have got lots of time i can see that you are going to meet your person when you are changing yourself when this transformation is happening you're forgiving yourself you're forgiving everybody who ever hurt you and you just trust your lessons and you're just so happy that you learned so many things and you've become so wise and you could be a fire sign, it is your Sag, your auto fire sign. A person is coming into your life and it's going to be a new beginning, new start, something that you've always wanted. So you have got time. This is what I'm picking up. You have got time. But this person is really rushing into your life, okay? It's like so much speed is here. So let's see more that what type of connection, whatever relationship you're destined to have. So yes, wish fulfillment, dream fulfillment. Dream come to, dream marriage, dream lifestyle, dream way of living life, something like your wish is granted. This is how you're going to feel it. And stillness, look at that. Now stillness talks about spirituality, it talks about the moment of stillness where you are speechless. You are just um, realizing or feeling that I am living in my dream life. My dream is not a dream anymore. It is my reality. And this is exactly how you're going to feel. Your relationship really looks like the most loyal, healthy, loving, romantic, and fulfilling, satisfying. And it's like your dream relationship, dream way of living life. This is here. Okay. You, uh, you're going to see that all of your fantasies are coming true. All of your dreams are coming true. You're just in the um, dreamland. Yes, you're going to feel this way. My group number one. Let's see, get a card from your future spouse, whatever you need to know right now. Don't make a decision based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So your person is telling you that do not take any decision based on your guilt or based on something that already happened in the past. And you're holding that grudge in your heart and you are just doing things just because something happened in the past. Doesn't necessarily it's going to happen in the future because you learned so many things. You have changed. You have become more wise, more powerful and more glowy and brightful person. So you're not going to repeat the same mistake because you have changed. Also, you got this card, the power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So, you know what your divine counterpart is telling you, your future spouse is telling you that if you are confused, that if this is me or not, then just be sure that this is not me. Because when I will walk into your life, I will give you a clear sign. I will never ever make you confused. I will never leave you in gray matter where you're scratching your heads and trying to find out that if I like you or not, I will make sure that you know that I like you and I want to have a future with you and I will be straightforward to you. So don't worry about it. If you're confused, if you feel like 
just you just don't even know that if this is a person for you then this is not me because when i will arrive in your life i will make sure you see me uh, that you know i get attention from you and i'll make sure that you know i love you and i like you and i want you in my future so that's all i got for you my group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading so give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for new update till then stay blessed and happy i love you so much my darling my amazing group number two welcome welcome to your magical reading so if you choose the number or your date of birth that is 11 13 23 4 21 7 6 15 10 and 24 this is your reading it could be your birth date or it could be just a pile you are drawn to intuitively doesn't even matter you are choosing this group to watch this is your reading okay so first of all your question is that will you have an arranged marriage or love marriage let's go find out that what type of marriage you are going to have okay with your partner with your husband or wife let's go find out my group number two what type of marriage you will have arranged or love what is in your destiny what type of marriage you will have arranged or love my group number two what type of marriage you will have arranged or love okay okay let's see mm, okay you got the adjudication card so okay group number two maybe you're watching this video you could be divorced i don't know okay because it's a general reading i'm going to tell you what i'm picking up the dedication talks about maybe you are getting a divorce or your person is getting a divorce and you guys are coming together and ultimately finding the right partner in each other so dedication talks about like legally getting separated from your ex okay this could be your situation this could be a person situation maybe you're already somebody watching my video for the second marriage or the third marriage or maybe or maybe you've really got a very much sincere relationship with your ex that almost looks like a marriage and you got broke up and it's kind of make you made you feel like uh, getting a divorce or something like that and if you're like single since birth then definitely it is your future spouse's energy that i'm picking up right now your person is getting separated from their ex or from their past partner before coming into your life now this card is here in this reading like will you have a love marriage or arranged marriage now the judication card is coming here that means you are really having a love marriage but definitely there has to be something that's already ended in the past so both of you or maybe one of you is really coming from past heart and healing in this connection this is here what's happening okay but let's see um the journey and the message definitely it's a love marriage okay pile number two it's a love marriage definitely i can see with the message with the love letters goals okay and the journey going on a date long drive or maybe moving location or just settling into a different place a long distance connection this is here okay so it's a love marriage i can see and your your family or their family might try to tell you that are you sure you guys want to be together like are you guys okay so this is exactly gonna be the feelings but yes you guys are just going for the best and this is a love marriage okay pile number two i'm picking up this is a love marriage uh but here definitely maybe okay it's a general reading so just take what says resonate with you i can see the divorced energy or like getting hurt by the past person this is here maybe it's you or maybe it's your person okay it doesn't even matter but the energies are here kind of mixed up but the journey talks about you guys and maybe you and your person are meeting through a traveling through some journey relocation maybe your person is changing their job changing their location relocating and meeting you or you guys are just meeting together like out of the blue this is here okay or maybe this is your person but here also one thing for you that this is your love marriage but there is something like you're changing you're changing something or you are doing something else like changing relocation changing uh, places changing home this is how you're going to meet your person this is how you're going to uh, have a chance to meet your person and it's a love marriage 
Okay, maybe your family or their family will be like, okay, you guys are together. I don't know, okay, because this judication card also talks about maybe your parents or maybe their parents are divorced or maybe uh, something is kind of messed up in your family or in their family. So that is kind of, I can see here, okay? Maybe you guys are just single. Maybe your person is also single. You guys are single, but something wrong with your parents or with their parents, okay? And that that's kind of give other people a kind of frowning vibe, like, oh, okay. So what's wrong with your family? Something like that. But don't worry, this is a love marriage and everything will be fine because you guys just stay together for eternity and you guys just born for each other. Match made in heaven. This is here. But it's a love marriage. I can see that it's a love marriage. And both of you are going to stay together and just going to pack your bags and going to move in together. This is what I can see. It's a love marriage. But let's see more. Let's see more. My group number two. Let's see more. Let's see more. That love or errands. What kind of marriage you will have. Yeah, the fox. The ring. And the store. So definitely it's a love marriage. But here with the ring, somebody's going to propose somebody first. And from the beginning, it will be decided that you're going to marry this person because of this proposal. Now, with the fox card and the dedication is coming together. Okay, maybe someone will try to uh, deceive you or maybe someone will try to deceive your person. But that person will go away eventually the moment you are meeting your future spouse. Okay, somebody will try to play with you. Somebody will try to do something bad with you or bad with your person, vice versa. Okay, and the moment you guys are meeting then that negative energy is just going away from your life. Okay, like to toxicity. It could be anybody. It could be toxic parent, toxic people, toxic friends, or toxic connections that will definitely eventually fade away the moment you and your person are, going, are meeting um, each other. Okay, so what kind of marriage is this? I know it's a love marriage, but let's see. So many cards. Okay, well, okay, wealth. That's good. Wealth card. And the older man. Okay, so group number uh, two. If you are a woman watching my video for your man, then your man is going to be older than you. Definitely older than you. Okay. And if you're if you are a man watching for your woman or watching for your female partner, then your partner is going to be younger than you. Now, if you're same sex, now the top will be um older and the bottom will be younger this is what i'm picking up now with the wealth okay your future spouse will be wealthy okay or maybe more rich than you are and somebody who's going to help you financially going to help your luck financially and you're going to have this beautiful connection together like both of you are lucky for each other financially materially this is what i'm picking up so let's um Let's get to the next uh, question that how much time you have got to meet your partner. Okay, group number two. How much time you have got to meet your partner? My group number two. How much waiting is here? How much time you have got to meet your partner? Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, for some of you, you have already met your partner. Okay, you have already met your partner and you're just checking that if this is your partner or not. And pile number two. If you're in a relationship, then this is your partner. If you're in a connection, this is your partner. Now, if you haven't met your partner and you're single, you're going to meet your partner in seven weeks, seven months, or seven years or six years, okay? Like six or seven weeks, month, years. This is what I'm picking up. Now, with the six of air, this talks about six weeks. This talks about relief, hope, and moving on. As I told you, relocation, changing places, transition, and going to the new horizon, trying something new, going for that adventure. This is how you're going to meet this person. With the chariot, again, talks about willpower, victory, recognition. Like you're changing places, you're moving on, you're just like you're going somewhere else. I can see some, like, look at that, by boat or by uh, carriage, you guys are moving to, to a different place, to a different country, to a different part of your state. This is how you're going to meet this person. Changing location is here. Um, also, the chariot card talks about moving on from obstacles, moving, moving, moving on from negativity. The chariot, the timeline is kind of cancerian place or maybe in the month of July, you're going to meet your person. 
okay? The six of air talks about the air signs like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius season. You're going to meet your person, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius season. You're going to meet your person. Also, to a water, if you are in a relationship, congratulations. This is the person that you're going to marry. For many of you, have met your person or you're going to meet this person very soon. That's why I'm picking up the two of cups energy. Like, you guys are so much close to each other. You guys are very much close to each other. But let's see some sort of um, time. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, whatever that is. Let's see. Uh, you got the king of air. You got the four of air. Sorry, queen, king of fire. That is the wand. And four of air, four of swords. And the seven of air, the seven of swords. Awareness, caution, consequences, meditation, um, and contemplation here. Okay. Now, here with the king of fire, you are going to meet your future spouse. At the moment in your life when you're so pretty, beautiful, cute, loving, and you're just attracting others' attention a lot. And people are just looking at you so much and you're receiving lots of proposal, okay? Now, with the four of you, you don't have to do anything, okay? Group number two, you need to know one thing that you don't have to do anything. Your person will walk up to you and, and take the initiative to propose to you or to confess their feelings, Okay, with the seven of air, it's a secret admirer secretly. Uh, so many people are just trying to uh, take you or just trying to take a chance with you, but they can't get you because you already got your soulmate. All the seven of, talks, seven of air talks about deception or getting deceived by somebody you trusted or cheating on. So definitely there is an energy like your own family member, your own people will try to cheat you. Your own people try to get revenge. Your own people will try to um, take the good energy from you. So be careful, okay? Do not share your things with your... Like, oh my God, it's very much difficult when your own family member become your um, enemy, right? But with the Seven of Air talks about like your own family member will tell you that do not talk to your partner. Like your, like your father, mother or somebody in your family member, they will tell you that don't talk to your partner, but do not listen to them. Look, I'm not telling you to become disobedient. No, but I'm just telling you that somebody is there in your family member who doesn't want good things for you. And your own family member will tell you that do not talk to that person. This person is not good for you. And when you tell them that, okay, this person is not good for me, then find me the right partner for myself. And they will tell you that, okay, where can I find that person? I don't know. Whoever is destined for you, you will meet that. So just, you know, reverse the game. You are going to tell them that this is the partner that I'm destined for and I'm going to be with them. This is what I'm picking up, okay? Somebody like, I don't know, your future spouse is somebody... This, like many people misjudge them. Many people uh, just don't understand how loving they are because they don't show it outside. Your person really um, get misunderstood by a lot of people. So whatever other people are telling you about your future spouse, do not listen to them. Try to use your own intuition. Try to get more information by yourself and then believe anything. Do not blindly believe in other people's word. No matter the words, like whatever the... Or whoever the people are telling you. It could be anybody. But do not listen to them. Try to use your own um, intuition and own mind by judging person. By judging your future spouse. So he's like, you don't have to do anything. Just, you know, lie back, relax. Enjoy nature and trust in the divine power. And divine will help you to find the per per perfect partner. Divine will give you the power where your person is just walking up into your life. And just... And they're proposing you and KK asking you to go out with me, have a date with me. Like, yes, we can be together. This is a love marriage. Okay, let's get more cards. Okay. Let's get more cards, my beautiful pipe number two. The type of relationship you will have with your partner. Okay, the success. Yes, it's a successful relationship, successful love life, successful uh, marriage life beautiful and the security definitely financial mental spiritual physical every type of security you guys are going to give each other the safest place ever in this world you're going to feel safe with them they're going to feel safe with you your secrets are safe with them their secrets are safe with you you guys are just perfect match for each other and it's a very much successful relationship you guys are protective of each other you are protective of them they are protective of you and you guys are just staying together like a team 
Okay, this is here. A very successful relationship. Okay, let's get a card from your future spouse, from your partner, from your divine counterpart, whatever they're trying to tell you. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Wow. My group number two, this person, like in 5D, they're already connected with you, okay? They're already connected with you, and they're thinking of you, they're manifesting you, they're always with you, and you're, you're always with them as well. Only time will tell, so don't worry about it. Only time will tell. So don't rush into it, and don't try to force anything to happen, because only time will tell. Only time will give you the perfect partner that you did, that you deserve. You don't have to worry about it, because your person will take the initiative, and they will just come up to your life. Maybe you just don't even um, notice them at the first time, okay? Your person will notice you in coming to your life. So that's all I got for you, my beautiful group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up also, my darling. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for new update. Till then, stay positive and happy. I love you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. My darling, my amazing pile number three. So if you choose the number 1, 3, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, this is your reading, okay? This could be your birthday or this could be the pile that you're drawn to. So let's go find out. Uh, what type of marriage will you have? Arranged or love? Okay, let's go find out that and then I will just dive deep into it. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, let's go find out. My group number three. Will you have the arranged marriage or love marriage? Whatever is there for you. Good one card is here. Okay. Will you have love marriage or arranged marriage? Will you have love marriage or arranged marriage? Okay. Will the man and courtship? You got the number 13 and 4, wealthy man and courtship. So this is exactly picking up the love marriage, love at first sight. Love at first sight. Okay. Instant bonding, instant connection, match made in heaven. This perfect match, meeting by chance. The Cupid's arrow strikes, love at first sight. I cannot stop thinking about you. We are just meant for each other. Meeting through friends, meeting in a common place like workplace or just doing the same thing both of you could be having the same type of job career something okay you guys are just uh following your passion you and you guys are just perfect for each other maybe in business meetings maybe you guys are just interested in the same thing and this is how you guys are meeting this is a love marriage the courtship and wealthy man you guys will have some relationship for years and then you are getting married. And with the wealthy man card, this relationship is going to be wealthy, successful, rich, healthy, and loving. You guys will enjoy a luxurious life together. This is what I can see. It's a very much wealthy man and a courtship. This is a relationship. Okay, so if you are in a relationship right now and looking for the future together congratulations you're going to marry this person if you are in a relationship congratulations this is the person you are going to marry and if you are not in a relationship if you're single then definitely you're going to marry your next boyfriend or next girlfriend uh, because this is i can see a relationship love at first sight instant friendship instant bonding yeah this is here let's get more clarification arrange for love marriage what's here I can see love marriage, but let's see more clarification. What is there for you? Uh, the clock tower and the bear. Also the cross. Now here I also have the idea of love arranged, okay? It's like you guys are loving each other and then telling that to your family members and the families are coming together. Accepting each other so proudly and happily. This is here. Like even your family members are so much supportive of you guys. Your relationship is so strong with the crowds. It is spiritual, godly, like divinely guided and protected. God is really helping both of you to come together to the fullest. The clock tower is all about divine timing when you guys will be together. The bear talks about strong, bold, courageous, and righteous connection. Okay, this relationship is very much strong, powerful, and you guys are power couple. This is what I can see. Okay, if you guys are together, you guys make a great team. When you guys are together, nobody can stand in front of you guys. You guys just really have that power, okay, to rule the world. The king and queen, the emperor and empress, this type of relationship I'm picking up. T, uh, two more card. The type of relationship you will have. Something more. Okay. 
I got the flu to disappointment in a friend or a lover. And kangaroo unsettled times need to plan ahead. Trust me. Pilot number three. The moment you will find your future spouse or the moment your person will find you. Both of you will lose, lose lots of friends. Like I'm picking up your friends are so much jealous that you are marrying this person. Maybe you are someone, you and your person, both of you got lots of attention. You guys are having lots of secret crushes from other people people are just having crush on you having crush on your person and when you guys are together many people are not so happy and they're disappointment they're, they're, they're they are disappointed uh, this is the reason that you and your person both of you will lose lots of people lots of friends especially friends um when you guys are together and with the kangaroo that talks about unsettled times need to plan ahead definitely like you guys will uh, start this relationship by not thinking anything about the future. Just, you know, go with the flow. We're just perfect for each other. If this goes well, we will get married in the future. This is how you, this connection will start. It's like a, just friend first and then things are getting more serious through time. And you guys, are, you guys are just finding each other perfect match for each other. So uh, that's cute, right? Let's uh, tap into more. Pile and number three that uh, if you're single then how much time you have left okay how much time you really got to meet your partner pile number three how much time you've got to meet your partner my pile number three let's see uh, you got the king of fire you got the shared card you got the king of water wow uh, you're definitely with the king of water compassionate understanding trustworthy if you have somebody in your life this is your person, okay? And if you don't have someone in your life, if you're single since birth, you're going to meet this person at the point of time when you're confident, when you're overcoming all the challenges, when you are just following your passion, you are um, just getting success in your career, in your place, and you're so much happy. You're getting a huge glow up. You're looking so beautiful. And everyone is praising you, admiring you, and you're getting recognition, Definitely, you are going to meet your person at the moment when you are charismatic, beautiful, and you're just having so many admirers. Okay, the timeline. Anything about the timeline? Okay, let's see the timeline. Okay, I got the six of fire, the two of wands in the reverse, and the four of wands. Um, okay. <laughs> Now, with the two of wands in the reverse, trust me, this connection will start just a uh, friendship, okay? Just a friendship, just a crush, okay, for each other. Like, you will have a crush on them, they will have a crush on you. Or maybe you guys are so much infatuated at first, like so much of physical attraction, both sides. Yeah, this is how the connection will start. But not having anything for the future. This is how this connection will start. But through time, you guys will find out that we are the perfect match for each other, okay? Very soon, you guys will find out that, oh my God, not only we are physically attracted, but we are just perfect match for each other. And there will be a marriage, a beautiful wedding is happening uh, very soon. So within a year, you guys will decide that we are just perfect for each other and we will get married in the future. Now, the timeline I'm picking up is the six of fire. There is success, recognition, and self-esteem. Six of fire means six days six months six weeks uh for a fire again it's a very strong connection it's a very fast moving energy four days four months four weeks especially talks about four days okay six days four days um it's like within a month or you guys are so much close to have this wedding but again to a fire in the reverse that talks about you guys are meeting you guys are just good friends and you guys just finding each other too good to be true and both of you are going to test that if this is just a friendship or more than that. Because from the beginning, it is a love at first sight for both of you. But you guys cannot just say that out loud that we are just match made in heaven, okay? we You can't say that, right? You need to wait for the right time. And the time will arrive very soon in your life. You guys could come from different cultures, different countries, different religion easier or different part easier. But you guys are perfectly mixing together. You guys are like two besties marrying each other. So much fun, enjoyment, so much laughter. This is here. So the timeline, I'm picking up some days and like in weeks and days. That's it. Okay. So close. You guys are so much close to have this connection. So much close. 
maybe you've already met them okay maybe you have already met them you're in a relationship or maybe you're in a friendship you have already met them this person is already near you this person is already near you my group number three they're already near you you know this person like oh my god this is the one for me for many of you you know this person if you're single like you don't have any idea maybe you know them but you just cannot see them as your partner this can be the story okay i cannot lie to you i've got to be honest with you whatever i can sense i will tell you right away let's see the type of relationship you will have with your partner the type of relationship you will have with your partner yes adventurous lively um enjoying the present moment full of laughter and seeing new places going to the new places traveling the world okay so much adventurous fun loving like the wanderer full energy experiencing something that people are dare to dream dare to dream you guys are really living the dream life and the enlightenment is a very spiritual card to get spiritually uh, awakened powerful you know believing the law of attraction as a couple you guys are doing some spiritual um rituals okay connecting with the angels universe doing prayers going to the uh, religious places you know pilgrimages churches uh, temples mosques like uh, visiting lots of angelic places where there is uh, some spiritual insights okay this is here as a couple you guys are spiritual as a couple you guys are ideal and people will definitely use as the example that how a beautiful ideal couple should be okay okay let's take a card from your divine counterpart what they're telling you my group number two what your divine counterpart is telling you trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform isn't it true my group number three whatever is going on in your life don't try to change it don't try to control it just accept it the way it is and this is going to help you to get more 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 blessings into your life so you are becoming more acceptable you are just becoming more more powerful person who accept the way other people are and not changing them and universe is making you the great lover okay wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course yes pile number three if you are being impatient and impulsive and just you know cannot control yourself anymore and just thinking too much that when we are going to meet how this will start and like this or that don't rush into it okay go slow take time things will just happen perfectly because you deserve a very smooth consistent slow love slow burning and you will enjoy each and every moment okay that's all i got for you my pile number three i hope you enjoyed this reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for new update till then stay blessed and happy i love you so much my darling, my amazing group number four, welcome, welcome to your magical reading. So if you choose the number 2, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 31 and surprise, this is your reading. So this could be your birthday or your favorite pile that you choose. Let's go find out, will you have a love marriage or arranged marriage or what type of marriage you are meant to have? Let's go find out. Okay, let's go find out my beautiful group number four okay will you have love marriage or arranged marriage will you have the love marriage or the arranged marriage will you have the love marriage or the arranged marriage my group number four will you have the love marriage or the arranged marriage you got the family room you got the wealthy man it really shows it's an arranged marriage okay I'm not gonna lie to you with the family room like you're going to meet your future spouse through family members um to the people you call yourself a family okay this is how you're going to meet them and then you guys are just having a beautiful relationship because your family member will help you to find your perfect sugar daddy or sugar mommy where you can be with them feel free happy and you can spread your wings the way you want to and feel always loved wealthy man talks about richness successful person who is already having so many success in their life they've achieved so many goals and this person is going to treat you like a king or a queen true king or queen who deserve a king or queen like you okay so definitely this is an arranged marriage arranged love marriage this is i'm picking up first you're meeting this person through family and then you guys are just talking with each other and making a beautiful family together 
Now we will get some of the confirmation, my pile number four. That if this is arranged or love. Because I'm picking up it's uh, an arranged marriage. So you got the locket, the locket, the love locket, and the moon. Your mother will play a great role to find your partner, okay? Your mother will, mother or sister or someone feminine, could be your mother-in-law as well or grandmother. Now, with the moon card also talks about, like, moon and the locket. It's like um, somebody secretly saw you or your future spouse. And then they are bringing up this beautiful love proposal, the marriage proposal to your family. Just for example, maybe you're doing something. You don't even know somebody saw you in your in-laws family. Okay, some some of like one of your in-law saw you and then they are just finding out that who you are and they are just bringing that love offer to your family. Okay, or maybe vice versa. Somebody saw your future spouse first in your from from your family member and they are really bringing that you know marriage opportunity to their family so this is how this connection will uh happen with the locket it's love it's uh, something like i don't know like you guys are so much liked and loved by each other family your in-laws are going to love you like you so much and also your family will love and like your person as well okay so beautiful mental adjustment beautiful connection this is here and also here is like you're going to love this person so much loving adorable connection this is okay uh, let's go find a more okay let's go find a more about this connection my group number four find out more about this relationship okay the dolphin and the um flag do not be tempted to lower your standards. So, pilot number four, if you feel like that you, you are in a relationship or someone is trying to dim your light, don't. this is not your person, okay? This is the best way you will find out that who is your future spouse. Like somebody who will just let you shine, let you spread your wings as far as you want. You can just stretch yourself, just be the one you are. You will be accepted fully the way you are. This person will never ever try to change you so this is here and the dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past okay and you got the wealthy man as well so that really shows that your person is going to be wealthy rich they're coming from a very wealthy family financial blessing is here okay this is like yeah financial gain through marriage this is here okay part number four richness wealthy success okay renowned family that you're really getting married congratulations my pile number four i'm so much happy and proud well let's uh, look into the next question that is all about that how much time you have got to meet your person let's see my group number four how oh, how much time you have got to meet your person how much waiting is here or something whatever you need to know how much time you have got to meet your future spouse okay mm -hmm. So you got the three of fire, goals, expansion, vision. You got the five of fire, conflicts, annoyance, and competition. And you got the five of air, mistakes, melodrama, and reassessment. So pile number four. Trust me, you're going to meet your future spouse the moment you are just moving on from something that literally broke your heart that like i don't know like with the five of fire and five of air it talks about competition mind disturbance you're just going through uh some kind of hardships or i don't know you are just trying to find your balance again like enough is enough i'm going to change the job i'm going to do something good that truly inspires me that truly i feel good for me okay i will never ever get insulted by other people anymore so you're just standing up for yourself you're letting go of toxicity and you are just winning the battle you're finding your mistakes you're finding that how you dim your light or how you lower your standard just to fit into some someone someone else's so does, uh, someone else's um expectation like how you did darken yourself and how you did so many bad things to yourself and you lower your soul standard just to please other people you're just finding your mistakes and trying to um overcome that thing and this is the moment you're going to meet your future spouse okay when like you are coming out of that competition where you don't belong to okay 
because to your fire you're just expanding yourself you're just spreading yourself you're just spreading your wings okay you're just having a big picture in your mind this is the moment you're going to meet your person now here i can also see the uh, the time of scarcity the, the time where um you're just finding yourself again okay maybe you have lost yourself okay i don't know it could be anything maybe because of your job because of your family member because of some relationship or friendship or toxicity around you that literally changed you and literally uh didn't help you to see the way you are and you have lost like you have lost yourself now you are finding yourself again this is the moment you're going to find your future spouse okay somebody who's going to help you to shed your skin properly and like you know the moment where you're going through that metamorphosis this is the moment you're going to meet your person um uh, let's see uh let's see some message for you again what do you have here you got the three of water celebration community friendships you got the knight of art organized responsible and supportive and speed activity and multitasking this is how you're going to meet your person okay now here with the three of water like you know uh, the three of water talks about uh, three months eight of five talks about eight days or, or maybe online okay knight of earth talks about um the moment you are focusing on yourself you're grounding yourself you're just finding yourself again you're just you know growing like there's so so much self growth is happening the moment you're going to meet your person when you're making your life organized again you're responsible yourself this person is going to support you help you to find yourself again and just cheering up every little victory that you are receiving this is the person that you're going to marry you could meet this person through online through social medias okay or maybe they will get your number or you will get their number and you guys are talking this is how you're going to meet this person okay like uh, through phone this is how the connection will start happening or maybe you guys are just meeting through family members and then you guys are really talking overnight and you guys are just talking 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 so much communication so much of conversation is happening here also with the three of water so much like you guys will find that oh my god we are just on the same page okay i talk about metamorphosis look at that the butterfly like spreading the wings this is here the butterfly okay the transformation change supportive like your in-laws are so much supportive of you your family is so much supportive of them so much support is all around you okay group number four another time you've got time my pile number four you you're you're a child you're a baby okay you don't have to worry about it so it doesn't even matter whatever your age is i can see that you have got time to meet your person and don't rush into it because the knight of earth is here that talks about knight of pentacle the slowest moving card in the tarot kind of connected with the saturn right it talks about that you will meet your person who is extremely organized responsible knows how to love you loyal to you devoted to you knows how to be patient and calm in the moment of chaos and they will have this maturity and this wisdom before they come into your life so you're really attracting that emperor that empress who truly 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 nurtures you and nourishes you and knows that growth is painful but once you start growing you will be fresh lively forever so so this kind of maturity is also needed for you so that you can meet your person properly so um let's go find out that uh, what kind of relationship you will have with your partner going forward oh my god that's a new beginning here that's a new beginning new start new life new journey okay and can you see the beautiful sun is rising yes my group number 4 it's like a fresh new start that you're having going forward not looking back again you're just getting success success and after success voyage traveling going out having fun or settling in a different places seeing new places or just having the most adventurous life and just going here and there and experiencing so many things and knowing so many things exploring the world this is here my pile number uh for for you okay so many new experiences so many new memories you're going to have with this partner let's see my group number 4 uh the message from your divine counterpart what is there for you don't make a decision based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others 
so pile number four whatever you want to do do it without getting emotionally attached to its consequences okay your partner is telling you that you need to let go of past things okay you don't have to worry about past anymore you have learned the lesson you have become more wise that's it so learn the lesson okay carry the lesson with you but do not carry the whole story with you because not all the people are like this okay you don't have to worry about this maybe someone is toxic for you that person already got a soulmate okay so don't worry about that it's all god's choice that how you want to get these um lessons and everything so you don't have to worry about it don't like your past is not going to uh repeat here okay well look at that you got this card okay telepathic connection intuition you guys don't have to speak anything you guys can just understand each other's feelings romance cupid's arrow strikes this is your love at first sight just love love and love like you guys don't have to always communicate verbally okay the words like the, the words are nothing okay you guys are you guys are so much able to connect without words just one stare is enough or you guys can read each other's mind can read each other's thoughts and feelings okay so that's all I got for you, my group number four. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let's give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for new updates. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you so much.